Hey guys, Marco Jugo21 here today. Today I am going to be building or showing you guys a build for a Hackintosh for $700. Starting off the build, we have a Gigabyte Mini ITX Intel motherboard LGA1155 with USB 3.0, and that will run you about $80. For our processor, we have our Core i5 2500K LGA1155. I went with this processor because it's a fast processor. You got all four cores, and you can overclock it pretty easily. And that will run you about $170. Um, $170 usually are about over $200, but $170 at Micro Center. I'll have all the links to these products down below. For our RAM, we have our Corsair 8GB DDR3 for $55. For our hard drive, we have a Western Digital Caviar Blue 500GB SATA 3, 7200 RPM. It's um, pretty fast for a 7200 7, RPM. It's not as, um, as going to be as fast as an SSD, but you know. For 500 gigabytes, it's better than a 60 gigabyte SSD, which cost about $100 or maybe even cheaper than that, probably $60. But yeah, you get the idea. For our hard drive, we have a Sapphire Radeon HD 6850 with one gigabyte of memory, and that will cost you about $135. For our chassis, sorry. Our chassis is going to be a Bit Phoenix Prodigy. Uh, I went with this case because it looks so Apple-like, and I like the design. You guys can choose whatever, um, whatever product you guys, uh, whatever chassis you guys want. But this thing looks so Apple-like. That's why I got it. That's why I have the mini uh, it ITX um, motherboard. So it'll fit inside this case. It looks like a Mac Pro because of its like uh, hinges like the handles on the top and bottom it looks so like a mini Mac Pro that's why I like the whole entire design I definitely recommend this they also come in black as you guys can see in this picture picture for our cooler to our CPU cooler we have our cooler master hyper 212 uh, it's only 20 bucks and um, actually I don't know if I guys told you that but it's gonna run you about eighty dollars for the bit Phoenix prodigy for the so for back to the cooler master, I chose the Hyper 212 because it got over 3,000 views on uh, Newegg and it's like every single rating is like always best. I actually have it on my gaming PC. Um, I have two fans on it. It only comes with one, but you can also upgrade to two. Uh, push and pull for mine. Uh, I have a Core i5 on that 2500K, 3.3 gigahertz, but I overclocked it to 4.5. And it's actually getting some good cooling. I definitely recommend it. I use it on my gaming PC, and you got my word. So for our um, optical drive, or actually, no, uh, skip that. We're going to go to uh, the Cooler Master Power Supply, which is a 500 watt, which will run you about $40. For our um, Now for our optical drive, it's a Sony 24, uh, 24X DVD burner which will cost you about eighteen dollars I went with the Sony one because uh, a lot of people you in their Hackintosh use um, Sony and Sony is the most compatible for Hackintosh and uh, that is mostly it just a shout out to Tony Mac x80 x86 check out their website this is where you can get everything about Hackintosh they do like this is where you can get everything there um I also leave on um, this one uh, so, uh, yeah, YouTuber, and um, his name is a uh, CPU kid, and he does a lot of Hackintosh. I actually did my uh, I watched this tutorial on how to make my Hackintosh. So uh, go check him out. He's an awesome guy. He does every everything is Hackintosh on his channel. If you guys have any questions, ask him or go to Tony Mac eighty six uh, website because um, that's all about Hackintosh. They got they just, they just got everything. They got the DSTs. They got the downloads for everything just check out their website I'll have all the links down below in the description as I said before and for the total cost of this build let me get my iPhone here the total cost for this build is going to be six hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixteen cents see
Told you guys, it's going to be a $700 Hackintosh. So that's mostly it. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. Tony Mac 86 or CPU Kid, ask any of us and we'll try to help you out. So that's mostly it. Marco Jugo 21, peace. Sorry guys, one more thing. Uh, I forgot the OS X, which is uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, you guys have to get that in order to have your Hackintosh all fully working. Um, so it's going to be running you about $30. And that, I think that's all I forgot. Sorry guys, I forgot to include that in the video. But that's mostly it, just the Snow Leopard. And that's mostly it. So see you guys later. Peace.